bloody wrestling. What are we going to watch that for? Because I happen to like it, that's why. Well, we don't. Well, it's my bloody telly and I do. I don't done anything on the other side. I don't want to watch the other side, I want to watch this side. Pig. <laughs> I don't know why you want to watch that for. I mean, it's not sports, is it? Eh? Well, it's not like football, is it? I mean, that's all fixed. Sometimes wonder if football ain't fixed when I see some of them results of a Saturday. Yeah, don't talk wet, will you? Well, I mean, fixed, there's West Ham. Eh? West Ham, the most attractive mm. side in the country. Everyone admits that. Oh, no one lets them win, ever. <laughs> that's all bloody rehearsed, that is, you know. Every bloody fall, every blow. I mean, you've all got bloody scripts, you know. It's just like a play. Yeah, well, if it is like a play, mate, it's a blooming sight better than some of them plays you want to watch on there. At least you can understand it. I think it's obscene. What is? That is. I think it's more obscene than some of the plays you want to turn off. Yeah, you didn't want to turn the Andy Warhol play off, though, did you? No. Sat up till half past ten to see that, I you? did not sit up to watch that. You did. I did not. You did. I did not you sit did. up to watch that. I sat up to complain about it. That's what I sat up for. <laughs> well, worth sitting up for, was it? I mean, all you saw was one tiss. You... But well, I mean, it's the truth, didn't it? Eh? I mean, it's all that Mary White House fault, you know. It was here. She got us all at it. Yeah. I mean, trying to raise our hopes and all you saw was Josh Lushler. Uh, what a rubbish that was, wasn't it? <laughs> I was surprised. No. So was Gran. She was disappointed too. Well, it's a bit late for her to sit up. What? <laughs> Wasn't there enough sex in it for her? Well, she likes them Mary Whitehouse things usually. <laughs> what are you bloody talking about, Mary Whitehouse things? She don't have nothing to do with them. She bangs them, she does, or tries to. Get off, advertisers are more like it. Yeah. I mean, no one would have sat up to watch the Andy Warhol play if it hadn't been for her. Hey, listen, I wouldn't have gone to see Last Tango in Paris if it hadn't been for her and Lord Longford. It was a good film, though, wouldn't no, it? But, like Malam Brown. Yeah, but look, a lot of people wouldn't have gone to see it if it hadn't been for her and Old Longford, though, would they? No, Graham wouldn't have. She'd never have gone all the way up the West End if it hadn't have been for them. But she likes what they pick. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Longford and Mary Whitehouse. Tipsters of porn. Eh? Out to see the genuine article. I mean, she's the punter's guide to porn. She is. Everything she picks, bound to be a cert winner. Hey, I wonder if they cop for it, like. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised, mate. Yeah. Where's my bloody pipe, Paul? I mean, your Longford is one of your socialists, isn't it? It's your yeah. darling Harold made him a bloody lord, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know, and he's doing a good job, too, and all. Well, he's sorting out the good born from the bad born, isn't he? Hey. Him and Mary. You great, airy, filthy, scarf-skinned <laughs> <Get out. laughs> Listen, that woman, that Mary Whitehouse, is concerned for the moral fibres and the well-being of his beloved country. What? Never mind about it's being rotted away by your corrupt films and your telly and your bloody BBC's the worst of the lot with the top of the pops of the evil painted youths dressed up like girls and that middle-aged peroxide albino clunk click punch they got in charge of it now. I like it. Yeah, you bloody would, wouldn't you? See, and, 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 and the seductive music they're yeah. singing about men's things and... Oh. and oh. Driving a youth for the country to crime and, and, and mugging and... Really? Where's my bloody pipe gold? And, and bestialities of rape and stop, 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 living stop. like bloody gypsies and refusing to go to work and, 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 and bloody living off the dot and, 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 and having no respect, mocking her elders and bears and calling me bloody skinny! <laughs> I'll tell you something, if ever there was a time in the history of this bloody country when we needed a war, mate, it's now. A war to get rid of most of them. Yes, a bloody war, mate. It's the only thing that can save this country now is a, a war, a bloody big one. You're mad. No, you're mad. Last two wars we yeah. had, we lost some good youth. Oh, yeah, sure youth did, yeah. with a promise. Yeah, Decent, yeah. law-abiding, respectable youth. Youth what done what it was told and respected their elders and betters. But if we had a war now, all we'd lose would be rubbish. Oh, Long haired, yeah. lazy, yeah. good for nothing, bloody rubbish. Yes, sir. <laughs> you're bloody, these to the day too smart for you, mate. They won't fight none of your stupid moors yeah, no too more. That's for scared, sure. more too like. scared. Yeah. Yeah. You were scared in the last one. Shut up, you. <laughs> Shut up, all of you. I want to watch the bloody telly. Oh, look what you've done. <laughs> Stuck to my stamp. 
Oh, I'm stuck to you. Keep your bloody stamps out of the way. No way. Look what you're doing. You're putting all the tens in with the ones. Then you're not supposed to. And you've got your co-ops here and your bloody no, pinkins. No business. You bloody no. colourblind, she is. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very funny, isn't it? Bloody funny. Get out of it. Oh, oh Teddy. <laughs> You and your bloody wars, eh? You and your bloody wars. I mean, look at you. Look at you. Sitting here in a slumming whopping after two world wars. Oh, yeah. Old age pensioners, mate. Old age pensioners starving yeah. after fighting in two Can world I wars. I ask you a question, sir. Yes. Go on. Where what? are you sitting? And where I, am I where, sitting? Yeah, where yeah. are you bloody sitting? Yeah, I'm sitting in the slum too yes. as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. slap you are, mate. Yeah, There's yeah. one big difference, Shirley What's Campbell. That? I happen to be sitting in my own bloody oh, slum. My own. Oh, yeah. My own bought and paid for bloody oh. slum. Trying to watch my own telly, which What's is also bought and bloody paid for. The licence, eh? <laughs> Look. Oh, yeah, that hasn't been paid. Look, I told you. That renewal form's been up there for two months now. I told you I am not paying the bloody licence money. They'll lock you up. I don't watch the bloody BBC, do I? Well, only watch the commercial. I wouldn't watch that BBC filth and Liberal Party propaganda. <laughs> Liberal Party propaganda. Your BBC, my dear, is just one long Liberal Party political bloody broadcast. That's the only reason all your Liberals are getting in at the by-elections, isn't it? What? No more about what? What about your Russian bloody mick they got on here, then? Russian mick? Yes, your Ludovic bleeding Kennedy, him. <laughs> And that other one, that oppo of his, that four eyes bloody day. Get a member of the government on it, they just bloody well insult no, no, just a minute. The, the reason the Liberals are winning the by election, see, is not the Labour voters who are voting for them. Oh, no, no, it's Tories. Tories? Yeah, yeah. Tories, oh, mate. Madam, your well, Tories no. who are dissatisfied with the Moribald policies of your bloody government. Moribald? Yes. Moribald? Yeah. Oh, blimey, I could surely temple with a Moribald. What do you mean? Why don't you use bloody words you can understand? Ah, that's Listen, I'll tell you something about us Tories, yes. mate. At least if our leader's gone balmy, oh, yeah. We ain't frightened to admit it. Oh, aye, aye. Good old Enoch. Yes, yeah, good, good old Enoch. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's another reason people are voting Liberal, see? It's it. Listen, it's a reaction. Don't you understand that? Huh? It's a reaction against the rate setting policies of Enoch bloody power. That's it. Go on. Bring the bloody wogs into it. No, look, just a minute. No, you listen, look. No, you look. No, you just look, just look, bloody look for a change. Why am I look for a change? You look. Listen, oh. Enoch Powell, that man, yeah. he's only got to mention your bloody immigrants and your Labour lot start yelling, wogs, wogs, wogs. Oh, wogs. Yeah. God <laughs> almighty, it was Enoch. Who first brought out the colours? He was the first to yeah. go on about it and saying all that about excretia through oh, letterboxes. Oh, blimey! Oh, another what? one we've got is excretia. So? Excretia. Go <laughs> blimey! Make a right pair they do, don't they? Morrie Barn and excretia. <laughs> Why don't you get him a dictionary out and stamps of yawn? No, I'm saving up for a deck chair. <laughs> <laughs> Enoch Powell, on a point of information, yes. was the first one who brought the wogs over. He, wasn't he? he was the first one to extend the hand of friendship to your coons. He brought them over no. expressly to, to, to run our railways for us, sweep yeah. our roads, look after our public conveniences. Oh, and they was happy and content to do that until your bloody Labour lot started banging their ideas, their ideas in their head, daft bloody ideas and unsettling them all. Ideas of human dignity. Ideas above their bloody station. And equality. Look, you start giving them a bit of equality. Next thing you know, they're bloody well demanding it. Of course, your Labour lot can't leave well alone now, stuffing their heads full of daft ideas about being doctors and surgeons, and now the bloody transport's gone to pot, and it ain't safe to go into hospital anymore, not with them bloody lot in there. <laughs> No mind about you, why are you going to hospital now for some little thing yeah. like, a, like a broken thumb? Yeah. Before you know where you are, they saw your bloody arm all. Yeah, yeah. Listen, nice. mind it's about nice. bloody laughing. Look, it's facts. There's people round here, my dear. There's people round... <laughs> Stop doing that. Pay attention. There's people round here who are frightened of going to hospital now for fear of finishing up in a bloody stew pot. Get off! <laughs> Luggy wogs! Now they put the price of our petrol up, and that's the thanks oh. you get for trying to, to show a bit of kindness to them. No, it was the Jews done that. Oh, don't be daft, Mum. It was the Arabs. They put the petrol up. No, but it was the Jews what caused it. Of course it was, but you can't talk to them. Can't tell them nothing. 
not Maury Barn and his screecher here. <laughs> Israel hasn't got any pets. I never said that. All I said was your white chap with mob started a bloody war. The Arab started it. All right, this time they started. All I'm saying is, if them Jews want to have a war, mate, they should wait until they can bloody well afford it and not expect us to pay for it. <laughs> they collected for that war. Look. They come round with a box here. Look, all... They was after blood as well. Look, what... But I told them, the only Jewish blood we had was yours, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I am not bloody Jewish! How many more times? Once and for all, I'm not bloody Jewish! Wow. Near Jewish. You're more Jewish than what we are. Look! Your dad was, anyway. Look! That's what your mum always said. Look, my... She wasn't. She was illegitimate. <laughs> no, look, my mother! Yeah, she didn't know who her father was. <laughs> look! So, I suppose there could have been a bit of Jewish blood in her, too. Look. Right, you're a right bloody mongrel, you are, ain't you, eh? <laughs> <laughs> look, my, my mother's father, see, my mother's father... Look, he, he, he was lost at the Crimea, wasn't he? At Sebastopol. Yeah, he never married her mum, though. Shut up, you. <laughs> he, there was a lot of things went on like that in those days. Yeah, for all your talk of your permissive society, there was things like that went on when we was young, too. Well, amongst a certain class, most of us kept ourselves decent. Yeah. What about your mother and father, then, eh? <laughs> I was a disappointment to my mother and father. Yeah. Marrying you! <laughs> look, oh, Bobby, it's all hotspot round here, isn't it? I mean, it's all a mixed race round here. I mean, look at it. I mean, let's face it. These then, they're, they're all a mixed race, aren't they? Eh? I mean, they're all mongrels, aren't they, round here? I mean, yeah, of course it is. I mean, it's like a big boiling pot. You chuck them all in, mix them up and see what comes out. Oh, we know what comes out, Sonny, don't yeah. we? Maury Barn and his squeezer, that's oh, what yeah. comes out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you then, Kung Fu, eh? <laughs> Bloody Liverpool, then, eh? Slant like bloody mix up there. <laughs> They're the same, aren't they? The same. I mean, you're only pure bloody races. You Arabs, you Jews, yeah, you Negroes, you Chinese. I half talk a lot of cobblers. I took a lot of cobblers. I took a lot of cobblers. You might know. learn, Sonny. Look, we might be mongrels here, mate, but we're pure bloody mongrels, aren't we? <laughs> English mongrels, we are, mate. English. And we start a war, mate. We don't start a war till we can afford it. We start a war, we bloody will pay for it. We haven't paid for the last one yet. We're paying off for it. <laughs> paying off weekly. Like the, like the tally man. I mean, not like your wogs. I missed him last week. The start wars they can't afford, see? Just as well. And then they expect us to pay for it. Cos I haven't got it. Shut up, you silly moon! <laughs> Bloody wolves sat out there in the desert, they are without two flies to rub together and, and, and make it and, and, and declaring war on people and, 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 and acting like there was war powers and expecting us to pay for it, putting a bloody price of oil up. No, was the Jews done that? It was the Jews' fault, wasn't it? Their fault? Yes, of course it was. If they'd have won that bloody war, I mean, if they hadn't been so busy Yom Kippur in, see, they could have won that war. Could have gone in there and got the oil wells. Yeah. Yeah. They had, they'd have probably charged us more for the petrol than the bloody Arabs are. <laughs> what we ought to do, see, we ought to go in here and grab the bloody oil for ourselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trouble is, youth of today, they can't fight the better than the bloody Arabs, they can't. Look at them, army, they've been in Ireland for years now, fighting a handful of illiterate mix. <laughs> I mean, in the good old days, when I was a young man, British army had gone in here, finished the bloody lot off in a fortnight. Arabs, mixed, Jew boys and all. Don't talk to me about bloody wars. You don't know nothing about wars, you don't. All you know about is top of the tens and ponce in the bar. <laughs> you gonna make us a cup of tea, then? No. Bloody marvellous. See, nobody wants to do nothing for anybody these days. You want to, you make it. Bloody women. But as much use as bloody Arabs, they are. <laughs> lazy bloody moo, you are. Swander Mary Whitehouse, don't try and ban that. What? That, wrestling. If anything's obscene, that is. What are you bloody talking about? We're two grown men rolling around all over the floor, touching each other up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? Well, if that was an applause.
play two naked men all set for those silly knickers rolling around in all those funny positions Mary Whitehouse would scream blue murder yeah. hey, she? hey look where the fat one's got his hand oh, now what? <laughs> 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 shut up you you don't like it go upstairs to your own room and read your bloody Irish comic yeah. <laughs> here I never realised there was anything in that before. No. I always thought they was just wrestling. Look! I never knew they was Nancy boys. They ain't bloody Nancy boys. Look at them, they're men. You don't get Nancy boys with muscles like that on them. Who don't? Hey? Who don't? What about Ginger George who gets in the three pigeons then? Hey? Fifteen, yeah, fifteen stone of solid muscle ears. Weightlifter he used to be. Could lift you and me up with one hand, you know. And he's a raver. A raver! Bloody lies. You raver. don't half tell some bloody lies. I've been in his company many times. Never said heard one word out of place. Yeah, well, uh, perhaps he don't fancy you lot. But, uh... <laughs> I mean, I tell you what, he's been a pass at me many the time, I can yeah, tell you. Well, what can you expect? The way you carry on is wonder we don't have a queue of them outside the front door there. <laughs> What do you mean, the way I carry on it? Girl. Like a blooming girl, you are, stuck in front of the mirror there, always titivating your bloody hair, little goldie locks and filling with your bloody eyebrows. And what about all that pong you pour all over yourself? <laughs> smell him a mile off, you can. Can smell you too. <laughs> yeah? Get out of here. Yeah? Where to? The three pigeons, eh? Hey, do you want to borrow some of my aftershave then, darling? Yeah. See, it's true. Television does go up to me, What you turn the telly off for? Well, I'm going out, aren't I? But I'm not going out. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? We can only watch it when you're in now, can we? Well, it's my bloody licence, isn't it? You haven't got a licence, have you? Well, that's the point I'm trying to make. I mean, I could be up at the pub there, having a peaceful drink, and I could get fined for watching a bloody telly, and I ain't even in. <laughs> All right, all right, don't sulk, little I'm not one. Sulking. Turn it on, go on in. But don't touch the BBC. But I want to watch Bruce Forsyth. Well, you can't watch Bruce Forsyth, can you? You put him on, you turn him on, and the bloody BBC vans will be round. They don't have detective vans out on a Saturday night. God bloody it cost them more in double and triple time than they're collecting license money. Yeah, the BBC ain't worried about wasting money, mate. It ain't their money, is it? It's ours. It's not yours. You ain't got a license. Shut up! <laughs> Look, the point is, the BBC, they put them programmes on, you see, like your Bruce Forsyth, programmes like that, to get you laughing, see? Get you enjoying yourself. Then, your BBC vans come creeping down the road without you noticing, see? It's the same if you've got ITV on the lead, just the same. No, it ain't. I can't touch it if you're watching the ITV. <laughs> Commercial television's free, isn't it? He's paid for out of your advertisements. As long as you buy the food there and all the other things they're trying to sell, they can't touch it. <laughs> it's only the BBC what charges you a licence fee. Well, you should write to them and tell them you don't want their programmes no more. Well, I don't. That's why I don't turn them on. Yeah, but they still send them. They're still sending them, aren't they? Look. Oh, no, before we join Bruce Ford, See? The They're still in the box. Program. They're still They're sending them. Turn it over. Yeah, it's not my fault, is it? I mean, I don't ask them to send it, do I? Well, you should have it out with them. Get it in writing. Tell them that you don't want no more of their programmes sent round here. Tell them you'll have the Bruce Forsyth and some of the others, but not the rest, and you'll just pay for the ones that you have. Now... <laughs> Now, where's the BBC bit? It's not there. You'll have us all in a bloody loony bin, you will. <laughs> where's the BBC bit? Where's the BBC? Not there, is it? Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and children. And if that deaf white cat has got lost again, hey, kitty, kitty! <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Generation Game. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Hope you like the get out. All right. And mind you, you know, I have got uh, the Scottish blood in me. And, uh, <laughs> it comes Stop out more it. in the winter. No, it really does, because, oh, I, I love porridge. I mean, oats every morning. <laughs> and, uh, I 
won't go to bed without me popping in the suit. Look, I've told you, you get caught watching that BBC, they'll lock you up, because you'll be accessory under the fact. That's been a bit of the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how that bloody Bruce Forsyth can demean himself appearing on air, BBC. What are you talking about? Shut up. You and your bloody stamps. I ain't fair, them stamps. I'm fair, they are. You mean unfair? Unfair to us drinkers, mate. I mean, in a garage, they give out them stamps, don't they? Well, what about us? Well, I ain't got cars. Well, give them out in pubs. <laughs> well, if they give them out in pubs to you, I might get a new house and a garden to go with me deck chair. <laughs> Petrol. No! Tell that kid of yours to tidy his toys up before he goes to bed. Serves you right. here for the two minute silence that I respect for them British lads will fail to return. You ignorant scars, git! Yeah, what about those who did come back, eh? Who's showing any respect for them? Trying to live on starvation bloody wages, they are, on starvation bloody pensions. Yeah. What about the widows? Yeah. Bloody hypocrisy, all that is. Shh! Shh! Never said a word! War's been over 25 years now, ain't it? It's about time some of them went out and got a bloody job. I mean, they do one thing, don't they? Fighting one war, expect to be kept the rest of their life. Shh, shh. <laughs> Same with old age pensioners, is it? <laughs> no, I mean, they saved up a bit, see. They put a bit aside for a rainy day. They wouldn't be bloody starving now, would they? It's the trouble with the country today. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> trouble with the country, innit? Everybody's on the bloody ear roll. <laughs> Students. Lying about in colleges all over the country, being kept, studying for subjects I ain't never going to get a job for. You're right there. Shut up! <laughs> never even fired the guns today. Wouldn't know there was a two-minute silence on if we didn't have the telly on. We well, hasn't started yet. You greedy bloody pig! <laughs> started now. <laughs> That woman, that woman, her majesty the queen, she's turned, shut up! She's turned, aren't she? With her whole family in the freezing cold. Oh. To honour the dead. Oh, dead. Why don't they honour some life for a change? Right. Sit still! Sit still! <laughs> you know, in the old days when they fired the guns, the whole of London stood still. The whole of England stood still. Buses stopped, trains stopped. They'll be stopping again soon. Shut up. <laughs> and if you move, you've got a punch in the bloody mouth. <laughs> so you're bloody right and all. Two wars we fought in. Two world wars. To make this country a better place to live in. <laughs> Who for? Two world wars and now they're all changing sides and starting all over again, aren't they? I mean, look who look who did best out of it, eh? Them that bloody lost. Japan and Germany. I mean, the world today, it's like a bloody great poker game, isn't it? <laughs> but it worked playing, worked playing with the bloody housekeeping. I got bloody... Everybody's on the year old today, aren't they? Hey, I mean, look at us. It's true. I mean, Australia wants to leave the Commonwealth, don't they? Yeah, Wales wants home rule. Scotland wants home rule. Even Cornwall, bloody Cornwall. Will you shush, shush. Ah, come on. And can you blame them? Can you blame them? Because those bloody amateurs up in Whitehall there, they couldn't run a corner shop that you month. Bloody they couldn't shrine. Run. Shut up. <laughs> Them lads that that woman stood there in silence for. And that I have bought this poppy for. That's not a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I mended that five times. <laughs> I have got this black bear in the morning on for. I was wondering what you were wearing that for. I thought somebody was dead. <laughs> Did I? Shut up. Shut up, all of you, to think I'd hear my own flesh and blood laughing. Mocking England's heroes, the boys who face the enemy guns. Who oh, are our friends. So the likes of you could live in freedom. With our friends and partners in the European supermarket. Yeah, not like Tesco's tuppence off. Yeah, more like four bob on. God, who's that now? 
isn't it? Marvellous. You can't even have a two-minute silence in peace. Can't even honour your bloody dead in peace. You can't. Where are you going? Can't you hear the knocking? Yes, I can bloody hear the knocking. Ought not to be bloody knocking during a two-minute silence, isn't it? Bloody marvellous. I mean, the only people standing still and respecting the silence is me and them. You're not very silent. Shut up! <laughs> it's about your licence. The what? <laughs> You got a license for this set, sir? Look, can't you see what's on there? Can't you have a bit of coming round here, disturbing people, knocking, enjoying a moment of reverence? Yes, yes, I'm very sorry. But the two-minute silence is over now, and can I see your license? God, God, ain't it bloody marvellous, though, ain't it? I, I mean, they talk about Nixon and bloody Watergate, and the BBC's got us all bumped, didn't it? I mean, it's ironical. We stood here in silence, honouring the dead of two wars who died to give us freedom, and the bloody BBC's bugging every home in the country. Bugging? Yes, mate, bugging. I reckon if Al Valadell was alive today, he'd be turning in his bloody grave. He's alive. Well, then I reckon he wishes he were dead when he sees some of that bloody rubbish the BBC put on there. How do you know we had a set on, eh? How do you know? How do you, you know we even got a set? If you haven't been sitting out there, listening to every word we've been saying, listening to what the old bloody streets been saying. Well, I'll tell you something, mate. I ain't got a license, and I ain't gonna get a bloody license. See? I watch the commercial. Don't watch your bloody rubbish. Well, I don't care which side you watch, sir. You have to have a post office license for the receiver. And if you ain't got one, it's a fine of fifty pounds. You can stuff your fifty pounds, mate. Well, stuff you too, and they'll stuff you in prison if you don't pay the fine. Eh? A year or fifty pounds? A year. <laughs> I mean, you have the choice. Yeah, yeah, but this too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you've got a licence. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is your set, then, is it, sir? <laughs> yeah, it, it seems, actually, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the Out first way, place? Because he... Right. Where are you going with that? Well, it's my set, isn't it? <laughs> you are? Yeah. Well, I thought I'd take it upstairs and watch it in bed. What are we supposed to do, then? We can borrow our radio, can't oh, you? Yeah. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mr Garnet. Hey. It's a pity you couldn't have been as cooperative as your son. Sonny. <laughs> All right, Sonny. All right, Mr Garnet. You put that bloody set back. Yes. And you can stuff your bloody radio and all. Bloody sauce. Where's my bloody breakfast? <laughs> Bloody wrestling. What have we got to watch that for? So I happen to like it, it's why. Well, we don't. Well, it's my bloody telly and I do. I don't done anything on the other side. I don't want to watch the other side, I want to watch this side. Pig. I don't know why you want to watch that for. I mean, it's not sports, is it? Eh? Well, it's not like football, is it? I mean, that's all fixed. 
sometimes wonder if football ain't fixed when I see some of them results of a Saturday. Don't talk wet, will you? Well, I mean, it, there's the... West Ham. Hey? West Ham, the most attractive mm. side in the country. Everyone admits that. Oh, no one lets them win, ever. <laughs> That's all bloody rehearsed, that is, you know. Every bloody fall, every blow. I mean, you've all got bloody scripts, you know. It's just like a play. Yeah, well, if it is like a play, mate, it's a blooming sight better than some of them plays you want to watch on there. At least you can understand it. I think it's obscene. What is? That is. I think it's more obscene than some of the plays you want to turn off. Yeah, you didn't want to turn the Andy Warhol play off, though, did you? No. Sat up till half past ten to see that, did I you? did not sit up to watch that. You did. I did not. You did. I did you not really sit up to it. watch that. I sat up to complain about it. That's what I sat up for. <laughs> well, not worth sitting up for, was it? I mean, all you saw was one tisk. You. <laughs> but I mean, it's the truth, didn't it? Eh? I mean, it's all that Mary White House fault, you know. It was here. She got us all at it. Yeah. I mean, trying to raise our hopes, and all you saw was dosh, lush, lush. A load of rubbish, that was, wasn't it? <laughs> I was surprised. No. So was Gran. She was disappointed, too. Well, it's a bit late for her to sit up. Well, that, wasn't there enough sex in it for her? Well, she likes them Mary Whitehouse things, usually. <laughs> what are you bloody talking about, Mary Whitehouse things? She don't have nothing to do with them. She bans them, she does, or tries to. Get off, advertisers are more like it. Yeah. I mean, no one would have sat up to watch the Andy Warhol play if it hadn't been for her. Hey, listen, I wouldn't have gone to see Last Tango in Paris if it hadn't been for her, Lord Longford. Well, a good film, though, wouldn't no, it? But... Like Malam Brown. Yeah, but look, a lot well. of people wouldn't have gone to see it if it hadn't been for her, Lord Longford, though, would they? No, Graham wouldn't have. She'd never have gone all the way up the West End if it hadn't have been for them. But she likes what they pick. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Longford and Mary Whitehouse. Tipsters of porn. Eh? Out to see the genuine article. I mean, she's the punter's guide to porn. She is. Everything she picks, bound to be a cert winner. Hey, I wonder if they cop for it, like. Yeah, well, eh? I wouldn't be surprised, mate. Yeah. Where's my bloody pipe called? I mean, your Longford is one of your socialists, isn't it? Yeah. Your darling Harold made him a bloody lord, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know, and he's doing a good job, too, and all. Well, he's sorting out the good porn from the bad porn, isn't he? Hey. Him and Mary. You great, airy, filthy, scar skin. Get out of here. <laughs> Listen, that woman, that Mary Whitehouse, is concerned for the moral fibres and the well-being of this beloved country. Well, never mind about it's being rotted away by your corrupt films and your telly and your bloody BBC's the worst of the lot with the top of the pops and the evil painted youths dressed up like girls and that middle-aged peroxide albino clunk click punch they got in charge of it there. I like it. Yeah, you bloody would, wouldn't you? See, and, 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 and the seductive music they're yeah. singing about men's things and... Oh. and oh. <laughs> Driving a youth of the country to crime and, and and mugging and really? where's my bloody pipe gold and and bestialities of rape and stop, stop, living stop. like bloody gypsies and refusing to go to work and 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 and, and, and bloody living off the dot and and and, and 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 having no respect, mocking their elders and bears and calling me bloody skinny. <laughs> Tell you something. If ever there was a time in the history of this bloody country when we needed a war, mate, it's now. Oh. A war to get rid of most of them. Oh. Yes, a bloody war, mate. It's the only thing that can save this country now is a, a war. A bloody big one. You're mad. No, you're yeah. mad. You're mad. Ma yeah, you're mad. In the last two really wars. Mad, I'm telling you. Last two wars we yeah. had, we lost some good youth. Oh, yeah, you sure did. With yeah. a promise. Yeah, Decent, yeah. law-abiding, respectable youth. You've what done what it was told and respected their elders and betters. But if we had a war now, all we'd lose would be rubbish. Oh, Long-haired, yeah. lazy, oh, good-for-nothing, yeah. bloody rubbish. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Yo, bloody, these are the day are too smart for you, mate. They won't fight none of your stupid wars yeah, no too more. Bloody That's scared, for sure. more too like. scared, more yeah. like. Yeah. You were scared in the last one. Shut up, you. <laughs> Shut up, all of you. I want to watch the bloody telly. Oh, look what you've done. <laughs> stuck to my stamps. Oh, I'm stuck to you. Keep your bloody stamps out of the way. No way. Look what you're doing. You're putting all the tens in with the ones. There, you're not supposed to. And you've got your co-ops here and your bloody no, pinkins. No business. You're bloody colourblind, she is. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very funny, isn't it? <laughs> bloody funny. Get out of it. Oh, Poor Ted. Oh, 
Eddie. <laughs> you and your bloody wars. Hey, you and your bloody wars. I mean, look at you. Look at you. Sitting here in a slumming whopping after two world wars. Oh, yeah. Old age pensioners, mate. Old age pensioners starving yeah. after fighting in two no, world wars. I want to ask you a question, son. Yeah, cool. Where what? are you sitting then? Where am I sitting? Where, yeah, where yeah. are you bloody sitting? Yeah, I'm sitting in the slum too yes. as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. slap you are, mate. Yeah, there's one big difference, Shirley What's Temple. That? I happen to be sitting in my own bloody oh, slum. Dear. My own, oh, yeah. my own bought and paid for oh. bloody slum. Trying to watch my own telly, which What's is also bought watching? and bloody paid for. The licence, eh? <laughs> Look. Oh, yeah, that hasn't been paid. Look, I told you. That renewal form's been up there for two months now. I told you I am not paying the bloody licence money. They'll lock you up. I don't watch the bloody BBC, do I? I only watch the commercial. I wouldn't watch that BBC filth and Liberal Party propaganda. <laughs> Party propaganda. Your BBC, mind it, is just one long Liberal Party political bloody broadcast. That's the only reason all your Liberals are getting in at the by-elections, isn't it? What? No more about what? What about your Russian bloody mitt they got on here then? Russian mitt? Yes, your Ludovic bleeding Kennedy, him. <laughs> And that other one, that oppo of his, that four eyes bloody day. Get a member of the government on there, they just bloody well insult no, no, just a minute. The, the reason the Liberals are winning the by election see, is not the Labour voters who are voting for them. Oh, no, no, it's Tories. Tories? Yeah, Tories, oh, mate. God, your well, Tories no. who are dissatisfied with the Moribald policies of your bloody government. Moribald? Yes. Moribald? Yeah. Oh, blimey, I could surely temple with a Moribald. What do you mean? Why don't you use bloody words you can understand? Ah, yeah, Listen, I'll tell you something about us Tories, yes. mate. At least if our leader's gone bar me, oh, yeah. We ain't frightened to admit it. Oh, aye, yeah, aye. Good old Enoch. Yes, yeah, good, good old Enoch. Enoch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's another reason people are voting Liberal, see? It's, it, listen, it's a reaction. Don't you understand that? Eh? It's a reaction against the rate hatred policies of Enoch bloody power. That's it, go on. Bring the bloody wogs into it. No, no, just a minute. No, you listen, look. No, you, no, look, you, you look, bloody you. look for a change. Why am I look for you a change? You look, listen, oh. Enoch Powell, that man, yeah. he's only got to mention your bloody immigrants, and your Labour lot start yelling, wogs, wogs, oh, wogs. Yeah. God <laughs> almighty, it was Enoch. Enoch, who first brought out the colours, he was the first to yeah. go on about it and saying all that about excretia through letterboxes. Oh, God, blimey, oh, another what? one we've got, excretia, so? excretia. <laughs> God, blimey, make a right pair they do, don't they? Moribane and excretia. <laughs> <laughs> 